I left my phone in the, on my desk. Hey, uh, what's up? Hey, yeah, please. Craig X here, uh, Studio 710 pre-show, Expert Joints Live 168, starting here in like, yikes, three minutes. I don't have my phone on me. It's in my office. I'll have to go over and grab it during the intro. Uh, here with me today on the show, joining in the studio, is uh, Danny from Moonroot Meditation, Jess and Ashley from the Products by Sec, the Big Puffa. We're all here chilling, getting ready. How's that all doing? Good? Everybody good? Yeah? Yeah, 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 mute, <laughs> mute, but good. Probably yeah. stone. Yeah. <laughs> Probably stone. Glad to be here. Hope you guys are doing good as well too. Get ready for it. Look at me. I'm just ready to roll the joint that I'm about to spark in two minutes, Jakes. You better be doing the same. Pre-show. Usually I have like a joint that I'm smoking while I'm rolling this one, but Andrew was like, "Oh, we're uh, you're looking calm, and relaxed." And I'm trying to be calm, and relaxed most shows, but of course, last minute, all hell breaks loose. We're like, "Holy shit, we're gonna start a show in like two minutes, Jake." Yeah. Help yourself, dabs. Nail it. Nails are hot. What's going on? Puff, are you good? Everything cool, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm good. Doing great. Good. Oh, good, good. Look at you. Right? Professional. It's, a, it's a beautiful day. I almost wanted to do this show outside today, but... It's a heat wave. Right? Ooh, yeah, nice. that takes a little bit more advanced planning. It's not as simple as... Andrew's moved the cameras outside today. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, let's, we got, we got five minutes. Oh, there's mics on. Well, should be a good show. Hopefully, oh, Park Parks, you're here too? Okay, good, buddy. No, can't hear me? Still can't hear him? Oh, damn it. Testing. Testing. This is because Andrew unplugged everything. Oh, thank you. Oh, go ahead, you can bring it. Well, whatever, it's 419, we'll figure it out. Andrew, run the intro, and we'll figure out Puff's mic in a minute. Luckily, we've got another one. Hello, yeah? yeah. Oh. The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the producer and do not necessarily reflect those of Cannabis Life Network, POT TV, Cannabis Culture, or High Times. Yes, yes, OG Brick. Audio again. Audio no bueno. I know. Hopefully, at least you hear me. You have to smack around premium. I'm telling you, time for no computers here at Studio 710, I think. What's going on? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes? Let me know, chat. And while you're at it, light them if you got them here at 420. So, meh, meh. Man, hey, it still counts, 420 on the clock, right on. Excellent, what's going on? Joint 129 here at the start of Expert Joints Live, 168. Light them if you got them, y'all. Thank you for joining us for our 420. Don't need that on. Don't need that going off every couple minutes. Nope, sure don't. But I do need you to uh, uh, let me know. Yes, audio's fine now, okay, good. Thanks, GML, thanks everybody. Premiere, Andrew, if you need to reset something and flash the screen, whatever, it's fine, do what you gotta do, but already done it, great, cool. Good way to start the show. <coughs> That's all right, it'll be much better from here. Let's calm down, relax. Be mellow show. You'll get it when I get on with the rest of it. Uh, in the meantime, since we last spoke, uh, DJ Slippy and I did episode 36 of Fridays over there on the SaveOnRadio.com with the big puffer. He was there and it was dope. Right, homie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can check the replay over at uh, expertjoyce.com and it's also up on High Times TV as well too. The, the, uh, all the episodes of course are up there including last week's episode. Um, also there's a Mixcloud page where you can listen to the show. Many things. Go ahead and support all the videos we do. Please and thank you. Mm. Speaking of videos to support, there was the Stolby, Sinners, uh, Stolby Sisters latest Chronic Cinema Club here last uh, Saturday? Saturday. Went stop by there. Yes, this one. This one right here. 
It was good. So we went there. Uh, thanks for having me, ladies. Appreciate that. Um, while we're saying thank you and thank you for being appreciative of it and pointing, one, aka if you could subscribe, that'd be cool. And two, if you could give us a thumbs up, that would also be cool. Say, say, yeah, say, say, say. Oh, oh, got you. <laughs> yeah, right? Thumbs, pointer, nothing. Um, <laughs> it's a new segment. How quick can I make it, Andrew make it screwed up? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, anyway, uh, also with that, appreciate you guys doing it. Thank you. Stone and is what it is. You do some crazy antics one time. How's I feeling? It's so low in this chair. I want to sit up here. I want to sit down here. I want to sit up here. Uh, Danny from Moon Root Meditation is here. That is one thing that's happening for sure. Also, the Big Puffa is here with music uh, during dab time from the People Northwest, as well as uh, Jess and Ashley from Products by Sec in the place to be as well, too. Grow tips from a man, Chris, the unknown grower, and, uh, well, I guess he's known now. Well, that didn't work so well then, did it? Hmm. Not as unknown as he used to be, Grower 420, over there. Uh, plus, we've also got... Luckily, Chris is a fairly common name. Um, and, 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 and also Puff Puff passes along giveaway too. I have the box back here. Stuff full of stuffed. Um, stuffed full of stuff. Yeah, that's right. Not the other way around. <laughs> stuff full of stuffed. Hey, Magic, what's going on? Hey, Stacy Lane, Evil Dave, Two Joints, what's happening? Love dirt work. Shaggy420. Mm hmm. Thanks for getting my joke. And technically, it was Hong Kong. But, you know, Japan, I, anyway. Uh, what's going on, everybody? OG Brick over there, Pot Smoker, Felix Smokes, all these different people in the place to be stoner spicy. Love, uh, Grandmaster Level, appreciate him in here. Uh, there's somebody love here as well, too. Love dirt work, yes, I already said that. Yes, yes, yes. Good to see you, folks. Appreciate you coming through. Glad to have you here. Um, yeah, Magic knows all about stuff and pass along giveaways. She won a bunch of stuff for me before. Actually, she's won stuff for me twice, I think. Anyway, whatever. Lots of shit. On with the show. In the bud cam, I'm going to put in here. We'll make all the jokes you want. It's the Darth Vader OG. <laughs> yes, had to figure old Todrick over there would be the first one to jump on the easy joke train. Hey, that's my bit. <laughs> all right, let me get a good little spot here on this nug to check out. Put that in the bud cam. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the right one, too. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like Bud, hey? Oh, oh. So sensitive. I just tap the desk and it makes the camera go buzzy. What is that? What is it? Oh, yes. Yes, it's the lid for it on the show this week. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Well done, well done, well done. Uh, that was what was on the screen. That's what was in this joint. That's what's going to go on the next joint here. And actually, what I thought was kind of cool, I was noticing that over at the uh, weedsgg.ca website, which you could check out if you wanted to or, or not. Um, uh, the, the, the product, they have a product page for the Darth Vader OG. Look at that. You can check all the profiles on there, the product attributes. You get your uh, cannabinoid profiles over on there, some more information on it, prices. You can even order it from there if you, if you wanted to. Uh, also, they got an event coming up, those weeds folks, putting on uh, Friday, tomorrow, Todd, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. we're going to be there with the, with the camera people, yes, we're going to be there with the camera crew tomorrow as well too, so that's going on 6 o'clock till 10 p.m. at 1350 William Street Art Show, all the cool glass over there and more, check it out uh, on information you need, as can be found at weedsgg.ca, um, yeah, that right there, that place has it. All kind of stuff that you can find there that I'm sure you'll enjoy, including the Save the Vancouver Dispensaries petition, which I'm sure they would enjoy if you signed up for that. Um, anyway, moving on with the show with more information while we're giving it out on what Moon Root Meditation is and a whole lot more. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest to the show, Danny from Moon Root Meditation. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Happy to be here. Glad to have you here. Thanks for taking the time. Welcome to Studio 710 yeah, and uh, Expert Joints Live. Yeah, it's been a really great experience so far. Well, here, hopefully you'll experience, you'll have a decent experience with that Darth Vader OG that we're getting from the fine folks at Weeds. Um, yeah, like it? Good. Mm. I saw you did some socials on there. Thank you very much. Yeah. Tagging us properly, you know. There's a lot of socials out there. Parker gets pretty upset. He went for a walk the other day, and uh, he was posing for people on, on the beach, on, uh, on the seawall mm. along the way. He didn't get tagged in any of the photos. 
Oh. Yeah, I know. Hurtful. I'll make sure he gets tagged. All right. See? It's all, he's it's all he's yes. obviously the star of this it's show. All yes. yes, in Hong <laughs> Kong. Actually, in Hong Kong, it's known as the Parker Bow Show. Oh, okay. I don't know about Japan. I haven't been there yet, but wow. I would assume probably still. I understand why. You'd probably. Be good. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, he gets around, he gets his <laughs> attention. But uh, you're the attention uh, person here in the hot seat today, getting all the attention. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what moon root meditation is, besides, I guess, the stereotypical, you know, sitting on the floor saying om? <laughs> Well, we definitely don't do much of that sitting on the floor saying "Om," but okay. um, I am I didn't a. Really expect you would. <laughs> That's what they do in the movies, anyway. Right? I mean, we do practice meditation, but it is a mindfulness-based cannabis education project. So, I host events, I host workshops, community gatherings, um, and we. It's a bit of a meditation class. Yes, I guide people through meditation, but we also have open dialogues about cannabis about mindfulness and about kind of the intersections of all these things and how it can kind of relate to your wellness rituals. Well, I mean, we do know cannabis can have a, have a you know, very positive effect on some people's health. And obviously, uh, your state of mind can also dictate a little bit with what you've got going on and how you're doing to some degree as well. So, I mean, I could definitely see uh, there being some overlap and correlation. Let's face it, a lot of people who are having difficulties with the way their mind is working, or sort of the directions it's taking, find some help with cannabis as well, right? So, Absolutely. Um, I mean, I guess, well, let's start with all the different pieces of it. I mean, it says it in the Instagram, so we'll go with that over there. Right. I mean, how did you get into the meditation part in the first place? We'll talk about the cannabis and all the rest mm. of it as we go. Uh, meditation, so I, honestly, the way most people get into meditation is through kind of our own suffering. I mean, for me, it was because I have fibromyalgia. I have oh, that several can be a real different. Kick in the ass. It really can, and yeah. I also have dealt with anxiety, depression, things like that in my life. So I found meditation. I found it was an extremely useful and beneficial practice for me. I was um, practicing meditation with a Tibetan Buddhist meditation center for a long time, and then I found a studio in Gastown called Moment Meditation, and they were kind of more a scientific approach to Plus meditation. they're closer than Tibet. Because by the time you get closer. back and forth, you're pretty wound up from the flight and it's probably detrimental. Exactly, and I, you know, I'm afraid of flying already and I'm claustrophobic, so it's not a great, Plus not Sherpas. great thing. Well, I love them, I mean, can't get enough. Um, <laughs> yes, so well, it's always good to have a place that you resonate with and it's local and kind of close to home and then you were able to attach to. Um, right. Obviously there's like, a lot of people don't really understand it. I mean, there's a lot of misconceptions, I guess, out there. I mean, for mm -hmm. one, what we see in the movies or whatever. But, it, I mean, <coughs> I mean, as I understand it, you know, it's a lot of mind over matter and a lot of self-thinking or, or clearing of the head. And uh, I mean, some of the biggest mis misconceptions, maybe, and some of the biggest benef uh, benefits. I mean, maybe you want to highlight a couple of those for people who might find it of interest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so one thing I did learn about um, meditation is that is definitely something people have wrong about it is the clearing of the head idea. Yeah. Um, it's most scientists would tell you that your mind is never, never stop, clear, yeah. no matter what. Even when you're sleeping, your mind is still going. Mm -hmm. So um, mindfulness meditation, I love it so much because really it's the practice of um, just becoming aware of yourself, of your body. Um, and the processes that are going on with you and connection to yourself in the breath. Mm. Um, it's very simple, it's very approachable, um, and no matter how you do it really, you're, you're basically doing it right. You're gonna get the benefits from it as long as you're actually practicing meditation. Well, and this is the thing, you're saying like there's actual real benefits to it besides like maybe the uh, anecdotal, if you will, but actual science behind it, right? And yeah. you, you talk about mindfulness, it, Where's the crossover? How does one affect the other? Hmm. Now this is where I'm sort of curious about the integration between that. And then what you talk right. about as well, too, something I saw uh, related, you mentioned a term called neuroplasticity as well. So I'm kind of kind of curious about the science behind the benefits of it as opposed to just like the, oh, I felt so good after. There's yeah. got to be a reason to it. Right? Exactly, there is. And that the, what most people don't realize is that there's actual evidence behind this practice. It, there's a lot of research that has gone into mindfulness and meditation and neuroplasticity, which is essentially the idea that we can change our own brains just by practicing certain things, by training our minds, creating new pathways, we can change not just how our brain works and how we see the world, but also the structures of our brain. So we can actually change a lot of things in our body physiologically. Um, so that's what the, you know, the power of positive thinking really to some degree can have an effect. Or I mean, it, it, 
it, it's it's also I mean we, we see that manifest in a lot of ways with you know, negativity breeding negativity as well too people who are down in the dumps tend to stay down in the dumps a lot of time because every day is the worst day from the day before kind of thing and it can get that vicious cycle and it can be really really hard to break out of yeah. but also you see other people who are chronically happy all the time and they're just everything's the most positive or whatever it stays positive well why do they get so lucky well or why do they have less problems or and everybody's got their issues but I definitely see how there could be some crossover yeah definitely and I mean those people who are who have a tendency towards being more uppity and happy I mean, they probably have a lot more activity in certain areas of the brain. So mm -hmm. what we can do through meditation is, it's kind of like a gym for the brain. You're working the muscles in a different way. I Maybe mean, we should pass that You're joint over there to Pablo yeah, as well, yeah, too, so he's got one over there. <laughs> we got this You're one right. started I talk too much. 1.30, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm that person. Um, <laughs> it's all good. This but is the idea. You're here to talk. <laughs> yeah, it's a talk that's show. Right. That's right. Um, where was I? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> in the idea of uh, of the importance, obviously, of training your brain that people don't really right. know how you can re reconstruct, right? Right, that's right. Um, so, yeah, essentially, I like to think of meditation as, like I was saying, a gym for your brain. Yeah, right, where you so, can target certain areas. Yeah, exactly. So one of the main areas that we target is the vagal nerve. So it's the vagus nerve, sorry. So it's a nerve that runs from your core brain down through to the rest of your body, basically. It's kind of in charge of nervous system regulation, gut regulation, your heart rate, things like that. And so when we practice meditation, and not it doesn't even have to be really deep meditation, it can even just be five slow breaths with a slow, slow exhale, you're already starting to increase your vagal tone, you're starting to strengthen that muscle, that, that nerve, that um, ability to sense yourself and to um, kind of become aware of things in your body. And you're strengthening parts of your brain that are connected to things like joy and focus and calm and things like that. Hmm. So there's actual like, I mean, I can see, you know, we've talked about certain terpenes triggering particular emotions mm -hmm. or responses from the brain from certain people at times, but actually just physical, the, the breaths or the motions are just thinking certain thought patterns, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know other than sticking little electrical diodes to your head how you can necessarily focus on specific regions, but I guess that comes with a lot of training, a lot of practice and technique. It yeah? does, it does, and that's why it's called a practice. I mean, even mm. me, I've been meditating for probably nearly 10 years now, and I still I still have complications. I, have, I, I get frustrated, I get mm. bored, I get anxious. Um, but it's all kind of part of the process, you know? Um, it's, it's a practice, definitely. Uh, and then obviously all the, the, the mindfulness stuff and this neuroplasticity, the science stuff you talk about, did you like uh, go to school for, for medicine and science? Or how no. did you learn about this kind of stuff? <laughs> did this just come along the way or where did you pick this up? Yeah, so I actually have a degree in anthropology from UBC. Okay, so that doesn't help at all. No, it does not. <laughs> not um, but I did study for one year um, at a studio called Moment Meditation. Yeah. Um, Moment Meditation, my teacher was Hiroko Demichelis. She is a, she's a neuropsychologist. She's part of the Vancouver Brain Lab. Oh, okay. So we did, we studied the brain while we were studying meditation. We did EEGs, things like that, um, to actually see how our brain waves change, how our heart rate variability changes before and after meditation, or even in the long term, how, it, how you can change your physiology. Huh. Uh, well, I guess you had enough things to study when you were in school and to keep you busy because weren't you involved with uh, the UBC's Hempology 101 program as well too? Or? I was, yeah. Actually, my anthropology degree, I, the thing that I give it credit for is that it led me towards Hempology 101 um, because of the extreme stress of being an anthropologist anthropology major, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, right. Well, majoring in anything is going to be stressful for a lot of people, but there's certainly definitely ones that are probably going to be a little bit more uh, difficult or more high stress than others as well. Yeah, so I, it kind of, it definitely did cause me quite a bit of anxiety and it felt like a lot of social isolation moving mm -hmm. here from Saskatchewan. Um, <laughs> so, so you already know about <laughs> physical isolation over there. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so one day I was that's just, a joke because you know, there's nothing in Saskatchewan but grasshoppers. Hey, like we've got we've got deer sometimes too. <laughs> and you got the fairy cup that happens as well too. Shout out to Jack <laughs> from over there, Skunk Funk, because I'll hold it down. That's right. Um, there we go. Uh, but uh, tell, I mean, what is the Hampology 101 group club program? What is for those yeah. people who don't, aren't aware? Yeah, so it's a club at UBC. It was founded by actually a really big, amazing activist in this community, Ted Smith. Yep. Um, we, it was an international society, but there is a club at UBC and there's a club at UVic. I think there's one in Saskatchewan too, mm -hmm. somewhere. Um, but 
Our main staple is kind of our Friday 420 meeting. So every Friday at 420 p.m. we get together, we smoke up in a big <coughs> circle, out in the open. It's kind of a peaceful pro protest kind of scenario. We're just <coughs> trying. It's kind of like the 420 event that we have every year in Vancouver, but a smaller version of that. Well, Ted is doing a uh, uh, Ted is doing something on 420 out there. <laughs> Vic, I just saw it on Facebook as well too. So yeah, Shows yeah. Ted Smith for holding so it down. He was great. He always helped us out with a lot of our events. We hosted, you know. Um, conventions, we, we made cannabis beer once, we do meditation classes, things Very like cool. that. And and you were the president of the club at one point oh, for, for quite a while, well, not one yeah. point, for quite a while, for a whole lot of time. Well, like yeah, three I, years was, I was heavily involved in it for the whole time I was at UBC, so five years, and then in my final years at UBC I was the president and yeah, it's great. We have a great team, we have a great community, but um, it was really kind of an honor to be able to step in that leadership position and share my passion for cannabis and for education. Well, that's what sort of leads me to you and to here and, and, and all this whole segues come together. And now you've combined sort of your, you know, your, your mindfulness, your meditation, mm -hmm. your, your, your inward thinking, your control. But you got the cannabis as well too in there, which obviously, you know, is something where I'm a big fan of. Yeah, yeah, oh, for sure. But, you know, coming to bring those two, those two together in a way now, I mean, I think that's pretty cool, obviously, but have you found that, that it can be helpful to introduce cannabis to some people for their meditation? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think both of them have their own benefits. For me, they've both helped my life a great mm. deal. Um, but oh, I together, can see with the fibromyalgia being a pretty no-brainer. Exactly. A lot of people with exactly. found success with cannabis helping that's with right. that. That's right. So I think that in combination with one another, you can create an even greater effect. It's kind of like the entourage effect with cannabinoids and terpenes, but instead you're using different modalities and amplifying the benefits that you get from both. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, uh, find uh, edibles or in, in oh, sorry, I guess ingesting or inhaling. What do you find people better have success with in the meditating, like off of off with some products by sec gummies like over my shoulder <laughs> here, or uh, some fine products from these flowers like from over here at Weeds? I mean, I believe that there's benefit in all the different products there are out right. there. It's definitely kind of individually based, but I find that a lot of people enjoy the, the edibles. Like if we have a nice long period before where mm. we can just kind of talk and you know, discuss mindfulness and all that, right. um, they really like when it slowly starts to kick in over time. Um, whereas if we smoke a joint before class, we can just get right into it and you know, it's, a, it's always a different effect, but I think it's all part of the curiosity, part of the exploration. Well, a lot of people are curious about it and have a lot of questions, and I'm sure that's probably why you've got your workshops and your weekly classes and your private right. uh, consulting that you do as well. Yeah, that's right. And I, I honestly, in the university system, I realized how privileged knowledge can be, and I kind of want to be able to use my platform to share knowledge in a way that's more accessible to people. Good by me, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> and of course, uh, you've got a, a class coming up this weekend, yeah? Yep, this Saturday. So what like happens in a typical sort of class, and, uh, uh, and is there tickets still available? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's tickets available. I usually can squeeze in almost as many people as want to show up, so there's rarely a time where I'm going to turn you away if you show up at the door. So this one's at Plant Based Boutique, but you've also it got is. classes at Blissful Alchemy as yes. well too, right? Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah, what's a class like? Um, yeah, workshop. so at Plant Based Boutique, I'm not actually really allowed to do the cannabis education part, so that's mostly just going to be mindfulness and meditation. But right. if you come to one of the Blissful Alchemy classes, it will start with, um, usually I'll serve something like a tea, maybe something with a little bit of CBD or um, the option to medicate, if right. that's allowed in the space. Um, of course, you have to be over 19 to do that. Um, well, we could do that here then. That's right, we should. <laughs> um, we do. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away, but okay. we do some uh, kind of a special mindfulness activity. We've got live music um, from a acoustic guitar. I musician. thought DJ Slippy was maybe going to be there. Or something. He no. could. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm going to ask um, some of these guys to Come accompany me. You never know. We could do something right, fun. Right. I love it. But um, yeah, so then we do a little activity. We, I guide you through a couple short meditation practices. Mm -hmm. Nothing too long. It's like 10 to 15 minutes. Right. Um, so everybody can do it. Um, like I said, as long as you show up, you're doing it right. And then, of course, as well, too, I like the idea of the, sort of the cannabis coaching as well, too, there, because as you say, right. there's a lot of people with questions. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there who think they know. And they, they really, they really, really don't. Yeah. Like, there's some people out there who just, what they think they know about cannabis is so far off and so wrong. And then there's so many people who don't even know that. Yeah, right. Exactly. So I'm sure you get a lot of people who are kind of curious. That's right. Well, yeah, I worked in the dispensary system for a few years, and it, it honestly astounded me 
even the people who've been using for 10, 20 years, yeah. they, they really have no idea um, like the science behind what they're using. So I oh. think that's really important. I, uh, I was just going to say, I think Al the Alchemist, if he's back there, not everybody has an Al the Alchemist that'll just pop up over the couch from time to time and exactly. just be like, answer all your questions. Because like last week when I had it for amazing. the grow tips, yeah, yeah, I think, see? Oh. Watch. Oh, yeah. All I gotta, all I gotta say is Congo. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. We don't need you or anything. I just made a little reference about you, and I thought I saw you milling around back there. But you got some, you help got some food here. Yeah, man. Help yourself. Um, Danny, Al, Al, Danny. Hey. 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 Um, yeah, but yeah, not everybody has a, a weed Alpedia to be able to look exactly. up anything. That's right. So I can be that for you. I can come over to your house or wherever you're comfortable meeting. I know uh, some people aren't even comfortable coming to a meditation class where we're openly talking about cannabis. Right. That's fine. We can do it privately. And yeah, I have so much experience. I've used these products myself, so I know kind of how they work and what's the best thing um, to kind of... for a lot of certain conditions. Sorry, I'm distracted by those delicious gummies. Oh, I know, <laughs> the set gummies are good. <laughs> they they're good people, they got some other ones as well too. Here. We're actually gonna have the, the, the ladies by ladies from sec. The, I, I don't know how the, that one works, but from products by sec, they'll be up here in a little bit as well too. Awesome. We gotta come up with a little catchy little thing to go with. That's so it rolls off better. Um, but no, I, I think that's great. Obviously, if you want to get tickets to the event for this weekend, there's the Facebook page. Also, I know you've got some Eventbrite pages and some links and stuff over yep, there that people can right. find more over at the Moon Root Meditation Instagram page, yep. right? Yep, that's probably the best place or else our Facebook page as well. The uh, best way to sort of get a hold of you if you want anything from, from you, if you're interested yep. in a class or getting more information. I love it. Well, I, yeah. think, I think in my mind, anything obviously you can do to, you know, to kind of better the state of your mind Exactly. And, your, and your health in general as well, too, that's never a bad thing, right? And if you can get that's a chance right. to open and experience some new things and expand your parameters, I think it can't hurt. And I think both cannabis and the way you think about things can make an impact. Exactly. And they can make you better people, better citizens, better friends, better family members. It's very important. You know what else can make you better as well, too? Dabs. <laughs> Dab time. Here, dab time, my man. The big puffin. What's going on, big dog? Uh, you know, I'm just you know, holding chilling. it down, chilling, yeah, hanging out, enjoying it, enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Dude, not having Tuesdays, a show on Tuesdays, is giving you too much time during the week. A lot of time, you know, a lot of free time. But uh, you know, I, I I recently did a little uh, update. I was just checking in on the show. You know, still, yep. you know, still in the works. Still some things got to iron out. Some people got to talk to. But you know, 
It's coming, so stay Kevin, tuned. we're here and passing this joint over right now as well, too. Uh, where's this joint? This is, this is 130 over here right now, although I, uh, I could imagine there'll be more to come. Um, uh, the segment here, though, we're going to dab some products by SEC on the show here. Ooh, ooh, they look good, too. Uh, also, from products by SEC, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show the SEC green goddess herself, Jess, and, of course, over here, who's not really here, but she's here, Ashley. The cook, the head chef. <laughs> the wizard behind yeah. the recipes. The uh, pleased to have you here. Thanks for being here, ladies. Happy to be I here. I know it's awkward to be like, hey, how are you down there? Yeah, we, but I think it's a little crowded <laughs> up here, so we just. That's okay. We got a dab. Uh, yeah, you got a you got a rig down there. Yeah, yeah. Here. And I and I got a camera, overhead Center. camera over here as well too, showing off these fine products that we've got over here. Bisect some of the lunar alchemy butter, which we've seen and know well. We're gonna put underneath the dab cam here in a second, but also. Also, also, yeah, you can leave it there for a second, Andrew. Wait, this way. This is so backwards. i got to practice this one day. The, the THC distillate that you can eat, infuse, or dab. Well, I'm going to dab it right now, but this is new. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, so it's what we use um, as our main ingredient, obviously, the THC in our edibles. And so we've had a lot of people reach out asking for it, so we decided to put it in a syringe. Yeah. And you can infuse it yourself if you mix it with like a fat, like coconut oil or, you know. It's decarb, so it's ready to go. Yeah, put it right in your mouth, or you can dab it, so... Well, we I, think, love it. I think that's pretty cool, and honestly, uh, I like the versatility of being able to do what you want with it. Yep. Look at this. It's beautiful. I mean, it's easy little... Con Hang on, let me make this bigger, so one See, thing at a time. See, up a little bit. Right, yeah. So you Come probably around. want to warm up a little bit. little top on there, right? So you just twist off that little twist lock off the top there, and then zoo, a nice little syringe of it. Very nice little cross. Well, a little close-up cam with a new distillate as well, too. Plus, probably. what you're known... Well, you're not even... I don't know. I don't say you're not known for this. You're known for the gummies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everybody just assumes you make gummies, but you actually also this ooh this lunar alchemy butter as well too. Ooh, very yes. nice. Oh, wow. This is always very flavorful. Like I really enjoy it, so I'm glad that we're uh, Old yeah. having it today, right? Yeah, I do too. I'm about to smoke some of it myself. Hell yeah! Well, we're about to get to it. So Puff, what's the track we're gonna listen to while we dab away here? Well, this week we got a new track from the People's Northwest called "Good Looking." Good so looking. Shout out to them. Good looking. You know? good well, look. these products are good looking. Uh, what <laughs> else? Is, what else is looking good as well too? I mean, besides these lovely ladies in front of us, of course here. But but uh, the event you've got coming up as well too yeah. next weekend Ooh, as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do a dab, but uh, you do the dab jest or whatever. I mean, Ashley, you can tell us there. Uh, before so. I cut to the dab break and the song quickly, Andrew, fly the posters next uh, yeah. next we, Saturday, Friday. We are bringing the fun to uh, what people call No Fun City. It's going to be it's going to be Big Fun City coming yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, no one, uh, not nobody, but there's not a lot of really fun kind of cannabis events going on. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna bring the like the house party that you want to be at to a public space. Yeah. Nice. And with that, um, with the promo uh, sponsor and vendor post you just showed, there's actually a couple more we're going to be adding to. We'll do a final poster mm -hmm. next week. Yeah. But I just want to shout out shout out the couple of companies that are also going to be involved. Um, Modican is one of them. Who can? Modican. If you forgot the you can. <laughs> so Modican is going to be on our new uh, logo uh, poster as well. As uh, we're also going to have butterfly infusions. Um, Amanda, <laughs> I think it's Siebert. Siebert, Siebert yes. She, the little book of cannabis. She's going to be herself. there as well. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, Hennessy, selling he's author. A, a broker kind of for different, um, you know, different He's a lifestyle company. guy, I guess. Yeah, yeah. so different cannabis yeah. companies. He's uh, an easy way to get contact with them. So he's also going to be there as well, Hennessy. Um, you can find them all on Instagram and I'm sure online. Yeah. And you'll find me there doing some oh, joint rolling yeah. games yeah. and yeah. competitions of sorts yeah. as yeah. well, too. Yeah. So. Craig X himself is going to be there. He's going to be hosting a joint rolling competition. Yes. We're going to have lots of uh, lots of giveaways. Oh, I got so, so much crap to give games. you. I mean, valuable prizes. It's yeah. like you watch the show all the time. You're like, I could do that. I could roll that joint. I could do that dab. Come I'm do it. it. Come do it next your, weekend. This is your opportunity. Next Friday. Really, yeah. 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 Next Friday. Be there. So great. Show live. Yeah. Plugs for that yeah. done. Done. Music up Over next, with. dabs ready to go. Jess is like, I'm not even waiting. Fuck no. it. No. Uh, you can get tickets on the Eventbrite page that Andrew just flashed as well, too. Andrew, <laughs> hurry up and play the music when we're out of dab. No, there's lots of dabs <laughs> to go around here. It's dab time. Hey, hey. New People Northwest, man. Show yeah, yeah. Coast side, I hit the corner store for nothing in particular. With some work, pass some herbs. I feel like a little more invincible. To get up, I 
I stick it to my principles. Today's a day where I got some money in my jeans. People been texting me, but I was still not over here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So that's basically the only new news besides a yeah. pop-up party. Yeah, we're looking for opinions, basically. We don't really care what anyone else thinks. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Everyone loves our gummies. We're really we're, we're good at what we do, but we're, like, we're looking for a little bit of feedback right now as, as to what our new creation could be because we have a lot of fans and we want to we make it interactive. Yes. Why not? Yes. Oh, I love it. That's, well, that's it. fantastic. That's all, that's, that's all it's like. Yeah, yeah we're down to about, I think, I think we had like 30, about 30 tickets left for the pop-up. We're going to yeah. have a uh, total 300, around 300 people there. That's like vendors and sponsors and the guest list and, and whatnot. But um, so if you guys want to get tickets, there are still some available. They're $20. The first 50 guests that arrive will get a surprise gift bag. So we'll have a little bit of our stuff and some other vendor stuff. Um, it's going to be a surprise. So you'll see when you get there if you're one of the first paid guests that have arrived. Um, we're going to have a live glass blowing yeah. show. So that's, oh, that's really cool. exciting. Like, so yeah. go-go dancers. Demo. There'll be a dance floor, real food you can buy. I didn't know you were coming up. Um, you know, we're trying to make it like a really good party where, you know, green market slash party and it's a really nice venue that we have. We won't, um, we're not releasing the location unless you've purchased a ticket or a confirmed guest. Just because we don't want random people showing up, we have a strict, you know, amount of people that can be there and we don't want people hoping they can come and, you know, we can't get in access. As well as, of course, it's a, a gray market event, so... You know, if you purchase a ticket or you're on the guest list, then you can have the location. But I think, are we projecting? Do we just crash a lot of parties? We just don't want cr party crashes coming off. Yeah. I just you know, so, you know, there's we just go to parties randomly. Just show up. Yeah. yeah. In newspapers. No we party look for crashes. We yeah. got wings. Yeah. You're more than welcome. <laughs> we'll no, let's go. Oh, and another thing I like to say, if you, because we supply quite a few online and storefront dispensaries across Canada, um, if you're able to make the trip or you're local in Vancouver and you work at a dispensary, whether online yeah. or storefront, that supplies our products. You're more than welcome to come for free. You just need to send us a message on Instagram and give us your name, and we'll put you on the guest list and give you the location. Yep. That's yeah. a great yeah. tip. Yeah. Anybody yeah. with nice. a dispensary, anyone that works yeah, in the industry. Yeah, or if, you know, if, for show. example, you work at Cannabis Culture on Davies Street that closed down, you are still more than welcome to come. Yeah, because you're we still did human well. to us. Yeah. Right. Not to this, not to the government, <laughs> but to us people. Who are still to people. us, you can come to our thing for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, as I was about to try and make the segue, I'll make it again. That's a great tip yeah. for all those people who want to come to the event. And speaking of tips, I have some grow tips. My name is the Unknown Grower, and I've been asked here today by Craig to provide some grow tips for you. Uh, currently, right now, I'm sitting in my bedroom, and we're just preparing some uh, Coma Kush clones. Today, we've got about 160 of them prepared here right now, and uh, we're getting started at uh, my gre the greenhouse for this season. And I thought a lot about over the last couple of days about what I was going to talk about, and it's really hard to decide about grow tips nowadays because we've got so many different growers out there and different ways of acquiring knowledge through Instagram and Facebook, the internet, that maybe, you know, a lot of things that I don't see is like planning. And today's the 21st of March, your greenhouse season, you only get one shot at it, you've got to plan it out well. I've got to bring these to get prepared to plant for May 1st outdoors. And uh, just to talk to you about planning, whether you're like a single grower or you have a huge facility, you have to run, you have to think about what you have to plan out in your day, in your week, in your month, in your year. You know, every day that you put it by, you're just losing time. Uh, you know, currently right now, I've got picked up myself these comas. I've got a whole bunch of seedlings started. And just the times that it takes to prepare things like this, whether you choose to go through seeds, you know, I'm at day seven where I've got clones that are five times the size. The advantage of clones, you know, they're always female. Some of my seeds that I currently right here at Jordan of the Isles, I have all these black crosses for this year. They're looking wonderful and popping out here. There's got a few over here, and then we've got everything over here as well for tomorrow's work day. We've got a bunch of different seeds here that we pop down here and here. We've got some other clones that we have up here. Here we've got some uh, 100 death bubba clones. And then we've got some more coma that we planted here today and another 100 death bubba. We're currently running about 600 and 50 plants in this room that we're planting. And that's why I kind of just wanted to talk about something that maybe most growers don't really talk about, is how do you prepare for your crop? You know, you can go and um, find for your soil, your clones, your seedlings, 
you can plan for your time, your day, you know, how long everything takes. Do you run a full-time cycle like I do here, or do you run a part-time thing where you just have four plants in your recreation? Either which way you need to plan out your day. And that's something that a lot of people don't really talk about, the time that it takes to do all this. Sometimes it becomes like an overload, just a multitude, like thinning and staking, even trimming, just huge, huge amounts of time that it takes to, to run something like this. You see all these guys on Instagram flashing all this stuff, but they don't really tell you. It's a lot of work involved in order to go and get this all done. And that's basically my tip to you, is just plan everything out that you have to do, no matter what you have to do, whether you grow outdoor, indoor, um, or you know, inside here, whether you grow hydro or dirt, whether you, you know, are a, a recreational grower or you're someone like myself that has an ACMPR and a huge license to, to facilitate something like this. Uh, you know, just keep in mind, planning is the number one tip that I can really give you that you may not see and it, you know, you can talk all everything you want to talk about, but until you've planned it out, and, you know, things always change. But thanks, thanks to talk to you guys. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Craig. That was my man, Medium Chris. That's right, AKA the unknown grower 420 over there on Instagram as well too. Great guy, a great chef as well too. He's, he's a real wizard. Especially with the syrup. Now, good to see my homeboy back on the show. We'll have uh, Chris and likely his buddy Derek and a few more familiar faces on later on in the season, I'm sure. Uh, if you want more, like I said, Unknown Grower 420 on Instagram, check him out. And of course, Grow Tips brought to you by TNB Naturals as well, too. You can check out uh, those fine products from those fine folks. If you happen to be growing your four legal plants here in Canada, then you got no problem. If you're growing other plants, it works for that too. Uh, TMB Naturals on the Instagram as well too. Um, got some of their products on the shelf behind me and over there as well too. Uh, if you want more information, yes, go check out their website, tmbnaturals.com today. Also, uh, when we're talking about information and product, I gotta, I can't let you get out of here as well too. I gotta do this housekeeping stuff because I still gotta ask you four questions as well too. Some dude tried to light up inside the convention floor? Fucking asshole. while Al the Alchemist kills something off of the email back at the dab bar over there, wearing a fine t-shirt that you'll be able to get on expertjoints.com very what, soon. This old thing? Yeah, oh, this old yeah. thing. Yes, yes, yes. The owl redo. <coughs> Redux. Redux. Like yep. Frank Ducks. Frank Dukes. 
Um, yes, amongst the uh, collection of the other Temple of Calyx shirts that you can get over there on the expert selections already as well, too. Check that out, expertrice.com slash shop. Go over there and check those out. Get you the limited last run of, or the last of the first runs and the first of the new runs over there as well, too. Uh, four questions for my lady Danny from Moonroot Meditation. I ask everybody these four questions and I ask you too. Um, how and when did you get into weed in the first place? Where did you smoke your first joint? How did, where did the journey begin? Well, I was from a pretty small town in southeastern Saskatchewan. They all so, are. You know, it was one of those places, don't talk about it, don't, don't smoke it. Hey, my family's <laughs> originally from Prelate. Oh. If you go back, yeah, exactly. Okay. Just outside of Leader, which is outside of nowhere. All right. No. I know how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I was just very curious as a child, and I came across it in several contexts in my life. And eventually, I think it was the summer before I went into 11th grade, um, I smoked an apple pipe um, on my farm in the middle of the nowhere um, on a beautiful summer day. And I honestly didn't get high at all, but mm -hmm. I knew I liked something about it. So I kept going and never stopped. And then the next <laughs> time got really, really high on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know why you Definitely. Get high the first time? Do you know why? I don't know. Because. Jess is going to tell you. That's what I'm I'm just going to tell curious. us. <laughs> because I actually looked into this because I was like, why do so many people say they didn't get high the first time? It's because I guess the THC receptors that you have are like growing, in, you know, lack of a better word. You're and 11. The, you know, the <laughs> yeah. first time you take it, they're, you know, they're, they're not accepting They're like dormant it and stuff, yeah. So oh. the, fir the more you smoke it, the more they're adapted to doing what they're supposed to do. So, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, a better sentence in all of this, essentially the first time when you smoke weed, it's not ready for it, but you keep going and then all of a sudden those receptors or able to accept right. the THC better. So, because I just so thought it was sense. so weird. Why are so many people, like, you hear that same story. Yeah. I think I had it the first time. Yeah. Nothing happened yeah. to me. It was crazy. Yeah. The second time, I lost my shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then cool. they're on and so forth. So, yeah, anyone, you know, Google that. Look about it. Cool. Google about it. Look awesome. into it. <laughs> um, <laughs> your preferred method of consumption? Joints, blunts, dabs, mm. bongs, what do you, what do you, what edibles, top, what is your go-to? I love all, all forms of cannabis consumption, but my go-to is a bong for sure, or else infused chai, I really like making that. Oh, that's pretty good too, that's pretty good too. Joint 131, she's smoking on over here as well right now. Um, how, uh, how much do you consume? Every day, all day, a little bit here and there, once in a while, what's, you can we pass it down to the ladies oh, if yeah. you want. Um, yeah, what's, what's your consumption sort of level? Uh, depends on the day, for sure, depends on the pain level and sure. whatever, how I'm feeling that day, what I have to do, but I smoke every day. Oh, I girl. definitely smoke every uh, day. And when you look back at all of the bags that you have consumed and your most memorable one of all time, the best one you ever had, the mm. one that stands out the most, is got to be at least one, and we call it the best bag ever, the one that got away yeah. if you never found it again. What's yours? Honestly, um, I've smoked a lot of great bags of cannabis, but there was one. It was an unknown strain that I smoked in a small village in, um, in Laos. Um, I got it from like an 80 or 90 year old <laughs> tribal woman. You just call a man's attention back there. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And it was, um, I mean, I, I, could, I didn't even know how I found her. I Googled and Googled where to get uh, cannabis in Laos, and I found this obscure post about some night market, and I went there. And yeah. sure enough, there she was saying that she had ganja for me. So I bought, I think it was five bucks for a giant bag full of right. stems, full of, uh, full of seeds, but picked through it for the night. My partner and I rolled about 50 or 60 joints. I don't know. <laughs> it was yep. a lot. <laughs> yep. Uh, roll joint number 132 just got lit over here as well, too. That looks like a Canazar from the pre-roll factory. Oh, I don't, yeah. Looks like Al got a hold wow. of that other one over there. That uh, What is this one? Oh, this is our switched. This is now... Well, she had uh, mentioned she hadn't seen one in like the flesh, in the real life. Yeah. Oh, well, you got to so smoke So I was like, it. okay, well, we always have a Canazar on us. You have to try one. Yeah. They're, They're infamous. Uh, and this is, the, oh, this is a rock star that I got from uh, from Weeds. That's what joint number 131. One, yeah, where did it go? It's, it's the wrong camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one. It's crazy. This one. So many cameras to choose from. This one. There we go. Yes, weedsgg.ca. Good place to go check out products like this. <coughs> Or even this. Oh, wow. You know. Ooh. Yeah. Tweeds. Mmm, delicious. Mm -hmm. I like weed. Um, <laughs> right. That's the way, that's not the escape. Is that the right one now? Oh, thanks, bro. There it is. Yeah, pretty good. Smokes well. <coughs> and then, um, <coughs> right. So, 
So well, I appreciate you sharing, passing that joint back, and the can of tar. It's nice of you to share with her. Of course. Uh, the, that's what they're there for. I'm going to share the joint 133 that I'm about to roll up here as well, too. But it, before I get to that, I have some things to share with you. Okay. Whew. This is heavy this week. There's not a high number of contributors to this week, but there's some volume. Wait to the contributors. And I think technically this particular uh, this particular intro or this package should be able to go international. I don't think in this particular package I tried to put one together that doesn't just have to stay in Canada. Okay, there's no weed in it. So if you're in the U.S., now I don't know if I really want to ship this all to fucking South Africa. That's, that's going to be heavy and expensive and shit like that. But um, um, at least if you're in the continental U.S. or Canada, I think that would work out pretty well. And over the age of 19, I think we can do this. Now, if it turns out that I look at something closer, I may have to substitute something. But I'll check with the alchemist over here. But I can't see anything in here that really should be problematic that couldn't get across a border. shouldn't have a problem. We'll look a little closer to the ingredients and shit just to make sure, but but the the point the point of the idea of what's in here right now is all these fine products. And I already showed them off. So some products from TMB Naturals. So we got this over here as well too. We're going to hand out a handful of these products here. Go ahead and they got a whole bunch of stuff to hook up and puff up fast and long. So if you're growing, you got this stuff you'll need. If you're not growing, well, it'll uh It'll be, uh, it'll be uh, 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 starchy to get growing. Also, once you've grown all your weed, you need rolling papers to smoke it. So here's about 100 packs of rolling papers over there as well, too, for you from smoking. Our friends smoking over there, hook it up. Those are the browns, the unbleached. And here's the smoking brown t-shirt to go with it as well, too. While you're at it, they don't have a brown tray, but they do have a red tray with papers and all sorts of different stuff to that effect as well, too. Nice little choice hook up there from the fine folks at smoking as well too making that happen and the hat to go with it because you don't want to not be coordinated and then you can also have the mug put the mug over here as well too a few nice little products over there let's see you also got that well, I can leave that out of the box more showy you'll get the box too don't worry um, well I'm that on the smoking tip also a little pack of the smoking mints as well too because those can go this little smoking, like little rolling paper pack holder, small little stuff, right? The little pokers. I'm just trying to think of all the different things that you could actually make happen without crossing the border that I had. Also, had a couple puff, uh, couple pure hemp lanyards because smoking doesn't make the ones that I have there, as well too. And then the, I was looking around at the products that I could bring from products by sec to put in there. So I found some buttons. I was like, I don't even know. Yeah, no. You get some buttons from Product by Sack. Yeah, nice. yeah, you have some buttons. Take and I have some stickers somewhere as well, too. And I have some more. I thought I had some more stickers in here, but buttons I'll throw in some extra Product by Sack stickers because I have a shit ton of those. And they, every time they bring me more, they give me more <laughs> stickers and more pins and more. So I have we several. You don't go anywhere without a loaded bag of yeah, what I could, you yeah. want. I can see that. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, but can I guess something? We got fairies. Danny? Mm -hmm. If you care, um, but yeah, that was all I could find. They didn't have weed in it, so that's just to you for that, because uh, that's all that matters Everywhere. is the weed. Um, I mean, if I'm doing this, I could add like a shirt and a hat and other <laughs> stuff. Well, it depends so. how quick you come back here, because I'll probably mail this out in you know a handful of days, sometime next week. So if it works okay, out, okay, I can cool. come back probably really next week. That's right. <coughs> all right, we'll see how it goes. You might get extra stuff. Uh, also, speaking of smoking, a little notepad. We actually, as we use those, they're actually handy as hell. Tanya will be pissed that I'm getting rid of that. And this weird little poker thingy filter roller I don't know you, you can make little pokies. tips out of it the pokey yeah but you make like tips that wants you to roll the cardboard for it. it's a little awkward but you can have it if you can figure it out let me know Someone might love it. um oh they'll love this other button as well too forgot yeah, that um and also I was trying to figure out what I could send from weeds as well too so I have a little glass pipe and a pen nice Right, and then and then Please a little right, and then yeah, there, and then a little shouts to a little postcard, a little Bob High postcard with with Dawn on the front, flying over the crowds, throwing joints out to the masses. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's 
That's kind of cool. So we got that again because most of their products have weed in them. I couldn't really, couldn't really give it away. <coughs> uh, also, also for Miss Envy, I have two of these the silicone ashtrays that we use here on the show, and some of these glass filter tips because people oh oh why is it not? People tend to like them. So what you're camera. Is there. that you too could have this entire yeah. set. You will have this entire, you will have this entire <laughs> kit. Yeah. And some stickers. It will also, from the, I was trying, damn, what can I put in from Fukushima Pre-Roll Factory? <laughs> a sticker. What couldn't you? <laughs> a sticker. I can't really put an empty tube in there. And from the neutralizer, well, at some point, uh, maybe on another future giveaway, I'll actually have a neutralizer that I can put in there as well too, but I can't, I don't have more of those yet. And they're, I, I know, they're, they're dope. I'm going to try and get a lot of them so everybody can have them. Um, that's the giveaway this week. So, if <laughs> hey, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Remember it again when we have the winner. No, that's pretty good. What you should have had was a ooh. Uh, that would have been the more appropriate one for right now, Andrew. Hang on, I'll find it. He's got a really li little list. It's small. We got to make him a bigger list and get him like a, like a little MPC something. He's still looking. It'll be like the end of the show when he'll find it. Wait, hang on. I'll get it. Wait, hang on, I'll get it. Uh, anyway, you've got three minutes in the chat here in just a minute. You know what? Fuck Wee. it. Fuck it. Let's make it two minutes this week because it took a long time last time. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, fuck yeah. Two minutes. <laughs> That's all you get, yeah. motherfucker. Uh, it's free. Yeah, you're going to get two minutes here. Yeah, winners win. Two fucking minutes. Right? Right? It, it's, no, that shouldn't take that long. It's plenty of time. Ooh. And here's, here's what are you going to get. Ah. Well, you should have now at this point. You should have got the tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, because that's how long that was. Oh, he good. No such thing as second place here, people. Okay. No, he okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, he's Andrew, good. fine. You win. You win this round, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, you great. Oh, he's the best, I know. We love him. Um, uh, two minutes on the clock here. For those still probably over the age of 19, because I don't know, the rolling papers I probably shouldn't send to a 14-year-old. Who I should mean, read? You don't need no letters from your mom. Right, I, mean, I guess, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, I guess, I'm just trying to think about it maybe to some degree. Um, but yeah, uh, and, and let's go within Canada or even the US, really. We can probably do it. So no, not, no, not how much value. No, no, not the value of it. No, 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 no. We're going to do it a different way. Where's my phone? That's why I need my phone because I've got two minutes. You guessing? Two minutes. Da, 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 da. Where is the timer? Get this ready. Set for, hold it, I should have had this ready to go. Two minutes. It was set for three minutes from last week. How many joints in this jar of Fukushima pre rolls? Oh. This jar of the Fukushima pre roll factory, right from here. How many joints in this jar? Andrew, can we get a little close up so they can see this some bitch here? We need a rain man. Right, right, right. We need full on rain man right now. 34. <laughs> I don't know. How many toothpicks? I haven't said yes though yet. There we go. Mm. Here we go. Okay. So I haven't said yes yet. Don't start guessing, motherfuckers. They don't count yet. Not until I say start and put start in the chat. So here you go. There's your chance to eyeball it and look at it, okay? Hey, so, I see Stoner Spice. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? How are you? But don't start guessing yet because they don't count until I say. So this is over in the Pot TV <laughs> chat or the Expert Joints chat. You all are still guessing for no reason. Your guesses don't count. Yeah, stop guessing. But what's <laughs> up, you, Stoner? But hi. Stoner Spice. Okay, so wait. <laughs> okay, you'll just wait until I say start, when I'll do all the start things, and then you can go. Oh, and you'll guess how many joints in the jar, and the first one, the winner wants. Um, yeah, I guess you can make, get multiple guesses, but anyway. Uh, if you start doing, like, guessing numbers, every single number from one to, like, a thousand, you, that's not gonna, I'm not going to count you. That'll be cheating. But otherwise, yes. Okay, when I say start, ready? So on the Expert Choice chat uh, on YouTube, as well as the Pot TV chat on YouTube, you can go guess in there. <laughs> The price is right. Ready and yeah, closest. Yeah. Well, try to see if you're over or you're under. Mm. So the no, yeah, price over is right. Because you're Bob Barker right now. Uh, uh you uh no. In this particular case, um, <laughs> you know what? Let's do it this way. You can get let's do, you can get three guesses. Okay. I'll let you take three guesses. Okay, okay. you can count three guesses. <laughs> and 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 you got all these joints in here to guess on. How many's in the jar? For two minutes. Starting. Starting. Now. Oh, there you go. Get it, Stoner Spice. Get it. All right. Now you can guess. Three guesses. See, look how good yeah. Andrew is. Closest mm. to, just in general. Because we tried them without going over, because that got tricky at times. Mm. Uh -huh, so closest uh -huh. to in general. If someone closest doesn't get it right away. Price is right rules here. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. 
So total joints in the jar. While I'm also, while we're doing this, and I thank obviously Fukushima Pre-Rolls no, uh, Factory for all the joints. But um, <laughs> also, I got to thank I Miss Envy Sorry. for the continued support. That's they got some great products back there as well, three. up on the shelf as well, too. Uh, I often get included in the Puff Puff Pass Alongs. I have limited products that I can put in from them, but I appreciate them putting in there as well, too. And I also got to congratulate the neutralizer while I was talking to them about it over there. These fine folks over here. They won. Sorry, Darth, your head's got to move for a second. Yes, yes. The, yes. Uh, the neutralizer won best, uh, another one of the best products over at uh, Spanavis this year. So, congratulations to the team from Neutralizer. Check them out, the neutralizer.eu. Check them out. Um, all right, as we continue on along here, the, uh, how much time <coughs> do we have? We've got 57 seconds. 53 guesses. I want to see 9,000 guesses from people. Make them good. Yeah, two joints. That's enough. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I like 420 all. Oh, you've got that? Okay, yeah. perfect. And it, yes, so 40 seconds over there left to go on it. Pretty good prize pack this week from everybody over here. Seconds. Congratulations to whoever's going to get that. Parker doesn't really give a shit, though. Do you, buddy? This is everyone's real life opportunity to be rain man. He's like, this, just wait till it's time for me, okay? Be fine. All right, just 20 seconds over here. 25 seconds in the place to be. I'm going to have to start taking. And then when I say stop, well, then we'll go ahead and we'll be stopped. And stop. so I'm going to find the first person who got to it uh, uh, over here. Oprah in 2020. Whoever 20. says 69 just wins. Whoever said. Like, really? Like. Oprah in 2020. I love that. Oprah. Yeah, Parker Ready? is and chilling. Stop. Oh, you hear that? Stop. That's it. You're done. Stop. That's enough. You're done. That's enough. Yeah, it's over. Who said 69. That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, who's the dirty birdie? <laughs> yeah, who's the dirty birdie? All right. All right. All right. All right. Two minutes to guess that. There's the start of over there. Oh, Piper Courtney is apparently the dirty birdie because apparently <laughs> the start over there. She was the first one to say it. You know what? Piper, Atta girl. You're a dirty Atta girl. Right. Pipes, well Girl's done, girl. Run. Hey, hey. Sicko. Yeah, right. Uh, we know. My my co-host for sicko. the 420 broadcast, Piper <laughs> Courtney, ladies and gentlemen. We love you. Great. You're just sicko. Great. Josie Grossy. Josie Grossy. Okay, so everybody has stopped guessing now. So I've gone through in the pot in the uh, pot TV YouTube to check that one out first. Check what's going on over there. From start to stop, I don't see the the actual number guessed over there, but I do see a couple of close ones. Now I'm going to go over in the extra joints uh, YouTube chat and scroll through here and see the first person who either the first person I see who gets it or who got closest. Oh, that was pretty close. That's pretty well. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, 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 that was pretty close. That was pretty close. Oh, 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 Oprah. No, no, no. I think okay. we found the number. first person to get it. You think so? I think I found the first person to get it and stop. Oh, it looks like two people might have got it. <gasps> At the very well, same fight point? To the death on not, yeah, they can cage fights for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, but it looks like the first person to get it. <laughs> Going back to go. Oh, oh, she got so close. Oh, oh but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. <laughs> so, Do when tell. it comes down to it, with Do the tell. actual number. First person to guess it, Andrew. Forty-seven is the Ooh, number of joints in the joint. Two joints. Two joints. The first person to guess. Look at ya. Two joints. First person to guess it. Forty-seven is the actual number. Stoner Spicy guess close with forty-six. Ooh. Some close girl. Oh. Some close. I mean, she's won before loser. already, so. You're a loser. Stoner but you spicy. lost. But you lost. <laughs> yeah. Big ol' loser. No, she's won before, so. Uh, uh, yes, that would have been kind of close, but uh, two joints. Two joints. There you You're go. Done so one. congratulations. Wow. He cheated. Oh, they were saying he cheated. Uh oh. Wow. Now controversy breaks out. <laughs> How? He did too many, probably did too many votes. He did four we votes. We didn't even know. Whatever. I don't, I'm no. honestly. Well, I'm even was, gonna. Okay. Well, it was. Who's was counting? His number I ain't even first counting. Three. I ain't even counting. No. I ain't worried about Look it. Look at two it's joints. Fixed. One. Evil yeah. Dave knows Suck it's a it fix. Up. Two joints. Fucking one. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Well, whatever. We stone. It's free, and I don't care. I'm moving on. It's my show, and I'm not going to dwell and pick <laughs> somebody else. You go, Craig X. So you tell him. Is yeah. what it is. Plus, honestly, Stone and Spicy has already me. won, and next time she comes back here, she can probably help herself to whatever she wants of this crap anyway. Oh, Stone and Spicy, you know you're going to get some pins at least. And then because of because of from Products by Sec, I think Piper Courtney will probably win a Products by Sec gift pack yeah. of some sorts as well, sicko. too, for being yes. number 69. Yeah, you little sicko, Josie Grossy, love you. So, well, thank you for everybody 
appreciate who participated, and it is what it is. Yes, the X is for fix. Oh my God, Evil Dave, you should boycott me. You definitely start a Facebook page or an Instagram page about how awful I am. Yes. You should definitely never watch the show again. This is horrible what? for sure. No, just Evil uh, Evil Dave. Get out of here! Uh, Get out of here, evil Dave! <laughs> Look at that. It's none not of that you ain't, ain't particularly worried about it either. So yeah, we uh, want none of your shit, evil Dave. Right so, out of here. Uh, right. So Piper Courtney's happy with the goodie pack herself as well too, and she'll take that evil crown. I'm sure. The X is right. for fixed. Piper. Yeah, exactly. Because it's free, and who cares? Uh, honestly, if anybody wants some of the stuff in you here, then basically I got bins of it in my yeah, office and you're welcome to put it through. So I just, um, yeah, moving on with the show. Thank you all for participating hey. and thank you very much for being here. Danny, I appreciate you joining us for the episode. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anything, plugs, shout outs, things that we missed? I don't think so. Oh, we did a fairly thorough job. Yeah. Uh, while we're at it back there, who else as well, too? Jess, Ashley, I mean, we've covered a fair bit. Thank you yeah. for hanging out. Anything Absolutely. else? Absolutely. Thank you for having us, and come on down to our pop-up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pop-up, pop March 29th pop here. Pop-up, Friday. Uh, doing it over in the place to be. <laughs> See, you got a pop sound effect, and I tried to make that one myself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, products by Sec on Instagram, the place to check out. Moonroot uh, meditation to check out as well, too, here. And, of course, Lord Geezy is my yeah. man, the big papa back there. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Uh, appreciate you being here, dog. Anything you want to plug? I'm gtown604.com. You know, we got the new shirts and hoodies coming real soon, like this week, a couple days. Um, follow me on Instagram. And, yeah. Stay tuned. Tuesday show coming soon. I love it. Oh, knocking shit off over here. Of course, also as well, too, got to thank the people Northwest for letting us play the track. Good looking. So good looking out for that. Uh, if you want, obviously, to check that out. Like I said, the link is down on the YouTube, and you can get it on there at People Northwest or The People Northwest on Instagram as well, too. Get the link for that. Uh, and to my man, Medium Chris. Amish Chris, also, if you look at him close. Uh, unknown grower 420 over there on Instagram holding it down appreciate the grow tips and yes uh, there I used to be an event planner for a living and uh, there was a phrase we lived by assume nothing plan for everything and then plan some more so good advice from my man Chris uh, what else what else also I gotta say uh, if I'm giving some advice make sure you talk in and talk up and tune in to all the shows over there on pot TV that happen Jeremiah vandermeer has got the cannabis culture news tomorrow usually with mr. cookie uh, also, what's helping on there as well, too? Oh, Saturday. Saturday, a high noon with uh, Alyssa, Boss Alyssa, and uh, Nico uh, holding it down there, 12 o'clock. 420s, Lifestyle with Carly Marley and VC Budgo. Mondays, 4 o'clock. And from Under the Influence, Greg Marijuana Man Williams. And occasionally, once in a while, the Alchemist, haven't seen a lot of them, but you know, he floats in once in a while. It's like he pops up from around here. He pops up at the Pot TV set. Between behind the dab bar and the table there, it's now summer season. I guess the only other Pete find you place him is in a hole in the sand on Third Beach. The big office. <laughs> That's the big office. <laughs> the big <laughs> island. The big yeah, office the right big over there island. doing it. Uh, and uh, what else is there? Oh, of course, uh, while I'm plugging shows and shit, i got to give credit to the man, Freddie Pritchard, the one-man smoke show over there, holding it down as well, too, doing his show most Sundays. So stay, stay tuned for what he's got going on. They're still speaking the cannabis truth. It's still important. We have not here having fun, but Freddie over there holds it down, telling the truth. And uh, also... Uh, Oh, speaking of having fun and good times, please tune in to Fridays, to 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com over there. And behind the scenes, of course, over on Twitter and Periscope at the Expert Joints page. Just get all the links over there on ExpertJoints.com for episode 37 of Fridays happening down over there. Me and DJ Slippy going on. Do you know it's the 25th anniversary of the Above the Rim soundtrack? If you don't know what that is, then get out of you here. might not want to listen to the show. Uh, also, if... Uh, the third anniversary of the passing of Fife Dog from Tribe Called Quest. Again, if you don't know who that is or what that means, then um, yeah, don't 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 listen. Or find or listen. Or I was gonna say or listen and find out because you'll find out what you missed. Um, it should be a good show. Uh, also, also remember, Andrew, subscribe. That'd be great. And then just thank you. Oh, subscribe. That'd be great. Do all of those things on all the pages, right? What did you hear? Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That'd be great. Uh, also, I'd appreciate uh, all you people in the chat room. Evil Dave, uh, Two Joints, what's going on? Love Dirt Work. Oh, yeah, Two Joints. Um, I'm sure I have your contact because I think it is. My info is still the same. Yeah, your info is still the same, but me trying to find where that info is in my lost in 9,000 emails uh, or DMs or something, yeah, that would be the hard part. Two Joints, if you wouldn't mind just resending me your mailing info, that would be fantastic. Um, uh, Marvis Parvis, 
Everybody's going on there. Mega Taro, somebody over there as well, too. Stoner Spicy, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, so close. Don't worry. Literally, if you want to come back here next time you're here doing a shoot with the Solby Sisters or some shit, you can just help yourself to some of this crap. Uh, Felix Smokes, Sun Green, OG Brick 420, Calyx Union, all the folks over there. Female Smokes 420, everybody. Does that Zorro watching as well? Even Zorro's watching. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> and of course, Piper Courtney, I saw as well too. You'll see more of her coming up on an episode before not too long. We're going to talk about 420 because we're like, yikes, we're less than a month away now. Dude, we got so much to do. Evil Fuck, okay, dead. that's it. Show's over. We got work to do. Uh, come back next Evil week here. Uh, next Thursday will be episode uh, 169. I got to thank, obviously, Cannabis Life Network and everybody for holding it down, helping us here. Andrew Packer's going to be here next week, comedian. He hosts some funny nights down there at uh, the Cannabis Cultures and other places out in Toronto and stuff. Comedian should be a good episode. So uh, come back for that episode 169, and go ahead. You can make all the jokes you want. I might even call the show. I might even call the show something to that effect. Like, go ahead, make all the fun you need. Yeah, um, we we want to be on episode six and nine. Yeah. Well, it's one sixty nine, but it still counts. It still counts. It should be wait till wait till it's two sixty nine. Oh god, I got another hundred episodes yeah. for that. Oh jeez, I better find some more guests. Wow, that's a lot of shows. Jesus, I was just looking towards the feeling good about the end of the episode. Now all of a sudden, I was like, I got two hundred sixty nine. Whoa, whoa, man. I don't know. Here, Little you take this. Dave, yo. Andrew, 133, just because I had it rolled, if you would please, hey? And then once you're done with that, if you would be so kind, you don't mind if you got the right buttons, the right sound effects, if Premiere fucking cooperates, I don't need to come over there and smack it. I don't mean the DJ, I mean the computer thing. If you please, hit the music. <laughs>